Hi, welcome back to my channel, Ren Country Sticks. It's been a bit since um, we've done a video, but we've been busy with um, one of these uh, double woodcock thumb sticks. It's almost finished, it's just uh, it's had its final um, coating and uh, it's just going to be glued up and assembled next. Um, my next job is a first again for me, is a, um, a, a German short head pointer. So um, you may not see this uh, video for quite a while because it's not really needed till next year but I want to get on with it uh, and at least start it and get um, the carving done because um, we don't know what uh, the next few uh, months are going to bring. So if we, thought, we get ahead and then once we get the pictures of the actual dog we can do the colouring and um, jobs are good. So as per usual first thing is Get all your reference pictures. Now we've already got our side profile that we're going to use. Uh, that's been marked up and uh, we put a carbon paper underneath that and mark that out. We've put vertical lines, sorry, uh, horizontal lines across for uh, the main points. Top of the head, eye, nose, uh, bottom of the chin. And we're going to try and line up on the front profile with this. Now obviously two separate dogs, two separate pictures so we've just got to do the best we can uh, and try and get the proportions right. So that's the next job on here and then we can bandsaw it out. Um, before we go any further we've got some more subscribers which is very nice and in no particular order we've got uh, Royan Murray. Welcome. Uh, Julie Ellie, Oliver Horton and Laurie Sharp. So welcome to my channel. Um, I hope you find it of interest and you know useful. Uh, they are going to be long winded because um, we're going to try and take you through absolutely everything we do. We might cut bits out which you know are very very laborious but we're going to try and show you everything we do and it gives you a good idea of what you need to be doing and as I say, if it helps, that's great. You can always fast forward, uh, no problem, I won't be uh, <laughs> offended. So that's it for the moment. Um, as we progress, we'll, uh, we'll come back to you. Um, as I say, I don't really need to, I don't think, describe um, doing this sort of thing. We've planed this wood on three sides. This is lime, by the way, again. Um, I have got a nice piece of um, American walnut and I thought well it might be almost the right colour but I'm going to use wood stain anyway to get the colouring right once I've seen the pictures and that might be next year so as I say um, we're going to use lime. So um, what we've done we've just angled that head just down a little bit um, I think that's going to sort of match up a bit better once we get this front profile on. And one of the things we've got to consider here, we've got a, na a gap uh, between the ears and the uh, the head. Um, we're going to probably have to adjust that so the ears come in. Um, may not be anatomically correct but I say you've got to be a bit practical when, you, when you're doing these uh, sticks because people are going to be using them and you've got to try and make them as robust as possible. So I think probably what we'll do is just cut these here and just slide them in and that will give us the, the outline for the front profile. So I say think on. Um, the other good thing at the moment is if we use this, see, you can measure your eyes up and uh, you can make sure you've got the right diameter of glass eyes in stock. Uh, this is the point at which uh, if you haven't got any, get them ordered. I think it's... Um, Snowdonia or somebody like that or Glass Eye Company anyway they're in North Wales um, so you can get them ordered they'll be with you in a couple of days and you're not going to be stuck and waiting so that's the only other thing so with that we'll leave you and we'll carry on with this and come back once we've got the block all uh, cut out thanks for watching we'll see you again right I mentioned before we're going to bring these ears in 
and I'll just I'll show you what see what we've done. Um, we've split them and uh, we've cut these ears so there's no white showing, brought them in, just taped up at the top there and um, any irregularities here you know you just pencil across. So basically that's what we're going to do. So we've tried to remove as much of that space between the ears and the, um, the head in the original uh, picture as you can see in that's the original picture there. So uh, that should help a bit to uh, save its ears in the future. So that's that. Next thing is um, carbon paper underneath there and we'll uh, give it a draw. Now we have drawn lines across here to try and line up with the you know let's call it salient points top of the head the eye the nose and um, hopefully that'll all work out so it's not a portrait of a dog it's just a uh, carving of a German short head pointer so we should be okay okay so see you in a minute Hi. Right, okay there we go so that's the front profile um, drawn on and uh, where are we? Yeah. So the eyes and the nose and the top of the head match up pretty well. Um, we've got a bit uh, of a difference between the bottom of the ears and the jowls, but uh, the main thing is that um, whichever size side is, um, let's say, the biggest, uh, and uh, we need probably. Oh, it's not so bad actually. No. Yeah. The ears drop down here, lower than the other side. So again, we're going to cut this front portion out first, this front uh, profile out first. Pop that back, hot glue it so it keeps in place, and then we'll do that. We're going to chop this bottom bit off because we don't really need that. And uh, I don't know what we'll do with that. It's not going to make much of a handle, I don't think. Might be able to use it for something. Well, there we go. So that's the next job. See you soon. Right, so the front profile has been cut out, as you can see. Um, we haven't uh, cut exactly around these ears because we don't really need to. We just try and have a, a nice clean sweep up there and then we'll remove these bits later on. They're not really desperate. So that's the first part, as uh, you've seen before. And we're going to hot glue that in there and then we'll do the other profile and we'll have that square wedge shape that you've seen before. Um, I've got quite a smallish blade, I think it's quarter inch or something like that but even so when you've got these tight turns here what I've done you see here is open that up quite a bit so I can move the blade around without uh, bending, catching or anything else. Another little tip for you if uh, you're not used to band saws. So that's the next job. Uh, a bit of glue and we'll do the other profile. See you again. Okay we've band sawed the, uh, the blank out now and you'll recognize this. Uh, <laughs> yeah a square dog. So it's been a struggle with this one. I don't know why. Me, 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 uh, my blade is relatively new but it's really struggling with this timber it's only lime um, maybe I've used it more than I think uh, so the next thing now is to cut a plan view out of it a plan profile uh, we're going to leave that now for another day so that's it for today thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one bye bye Right, you've seen we cut the um, side profile out and the front profile we've been left with this. I've made uh, a few marks in this, um, use the actual, let's turn the camera on a bit, that's the actual pattern I used so we've, we've measured uh, across the snout there to see what, um, what distance we get and we've obviously taken the central line mark that up so that there I'm not going to go beyond there and start removing my waste the other thing we've done uh, 
because we haven't got a plan view it's always hard to guess where the ears are now we've got the patterns you know we're going to draw on both sides and it occurred to me that we had waste that came off the actual block so if I remove the ears that will give me a perfect guide as to where the ears should be that's on one side we'll have to try and reconstitute the bits and pieces to go on that side and mark that up so now we're fairly confident that the position of the ears is going to be right uh, so that's we've got the width of the snout and we've got the ears um, so that's a major thing uh, if you keep referring to these pictures they can tell you an awful lot so that's as much as I want to do today it's been uh, a long day and uh, we'll come back to you once we start uh, carving this plank up thanks very much thanks for watching